Hello YouTube, um, Jibo Unit here, and I'm making a video on cleaning a SigPro 2340. Now, this is going to be my second run at it because <clears throat> I just found out that I'm limited to 15 minutes. So, I guess I answered my own question in my previous video of how long we're limited to. So anyway, um, I didn't even realize that I had gone to 15 minutes and the video stopped. But anyway, I'm going to make a, uh, a cleaning video on SigPro 2340, and um, I wanted to show off my gun. There's not a lot of videos on a SigPro 2340, which is chambered in 40 caliber. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a couple of good videos, uh, but the one that I really, really like is the six-part video that was done by Mr. AK47 Master. I highly recommend his site. Um, I also highly recommend his videos on this particular pistol if you have a SIG Pro 2340 or are thinking of getting one. So this one's mine. I'm going to kind of copy his video uh, because, uh, well, imitation means admiration, right? So uh, I admire his videos and his write-up on, on the 2340. And plus, I wanted to show off mine because I really love this gun. So anyway... Uh, in a previous video that is not published, I did clean it, and you can see all the dirt that I've gotten off of this gun um, because you know I took it to the range yesterday and uh, fired some through it, and you know got some really good use out of it. So anyway, I'll go ahead and start. Um, the materials that I have out is a an old shirt, an old rag. I've got some uh, cleaning um, uh, patches here, and I've got. A copper, um, I don't know, copper brass, you know. But anyway, a bristle brush to clean the barrel, and a uh, holder to hold my patches. These patches right here. So, and of course, I've got a reamer, you know, to to attach those too. So anyway, <clears throat> Sig Pro 2340, okay, 40 caliber. Love this gun. So I will. Oh, before you know, before I begin, I will make sure that this gun is empty. Okay, empty magazine. I'll set that aside. Oh, hold on a second here. Oops, okay. There you can see the feed ramp there. Um, it is empty. Okay, gun is empty. Nothing in there. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can see that very well at all, but you know, I assure you it's empty. Okay, that's probably a better view right there. All right. So now this gun is kind of a weird one to take apart. Um, if you see this right here, I'll go ahead and use this right here. That notch right there has to line up with that pin, so I, it's got to slide back just a little bit so I can pop the pin out. And the way you pop it out is on the other side here. Uh, that is the pin that you're going to press on to press when when this is lined up on the other side here I'll pop that press that and it'll pop the pin out and I'll show you I'm going to try to do it on camera so you can see it um, not real good with opposite stuff here so it's sort of a pain to get off of here so let's see if I can do this without breaking anything. Ugh. I'm not doing a very good job here. So anyway, let me position it first. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. So, oh, there we go. See how it, I had to line that up like so? Now, if I go on the other side here and push, that'll pop right out. I don't know if you saw that. Okay. Popped out. Let me reverse it here. Okay, comes out just like that. Okay. Now, next thing, don't let go of the slide. Hang on to it with both hands. Let it ease up like so. Make sure you don't pinch your hand in here. Okay, and then you just slide it apart just like so. So, here's here's the uh, polymer frame right here. This is the the light piece. Okay. And 
Don't worry, that wasn't a real storm. It is my weather.com desktop application that sounds off every so often. So, okay, so here we go. Polymer frame, okay. Here's a slide assembly right here, okay. So I'm just going to take this spring off to release this barrel and separate this slide and it'll come out in three pieces. So here we go. Spring. Okay. Barrel. Okay. Slide assembly. Okay. There we go. All right. So there are the main components of the gun right there. Five pieces. The slide assembly, the barrel, the spring, the frame, and the pin. Okay. So that's really about it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, um, you know, use this item called Ballastol. I was sold on this product from Hickok 45 and the Armory Channel. And those two guys uh, did a bit on you know cleaning their guns and they used Ballastol. Uh, Hickok 45 talked about Ballastol a lot more, and uh, you know I, I was sold on it. Both he and um, Armory Channel have the aerosol spray, which is easier and everything. But you know me trying to save money and everything. Um, I wanted to get the can of fluid, the non-aerosol, as you can see on the side of the can. So now I have a full bottle of Ballastol as opposed to a partial bottle and the rest filled up with aerosol. So I have that. So I, I already poured a little bit out here and get my handy dandy Q-tip. I mean, you can use your hands and everything to, to oil up everything, but I like the Q-tip because it gets into crevices um, that I can't get into. And since I don't have aerosol spray, I can get the Q-tip in here and run it halfway in, oil that up, and run it the other half. You know, then I get the whole barrel uh, lubed up. So, so I'm going to go ahead and lube up the barrel here. And what I'm doing is I'm just basically soaking it, uh, soaking the barrel with it, uh, so that the ballastol can go to work uh, and start breaking down all the deposits from the powder and, and the, the bullet. So so there you go. So see, and it's I did do some cleaning to it. It's getting better. It's still a little bit of dirt there. And you want to get this thing, you know, as clean as possible. You know, cleanliness is close to godliness. And, uh, you know, you when you're talking about your weapon you want to make sure this sucker is clean uh, so that it operates at a top level uh, you don't want to have some crummy gun that that sits around over time you know gets all um, full of gunk and corrosion and then you know come time to use it or you know even just to have fun go to the range and, and it doesn't work as well because of jams and you know because it's all crummy so you want to make sure that you don't get it all crummy. All right, so, oh, I found a part of the gun I did not clean right in here. Because look, yuck, look at that. All right, so yeah, I'm still using the dirty end of the Q-tip because, like I said, I'm just soaking the metal surfaces down with Ballastol. Um, uh, Ballastol will soak into the crevices and nooks and crannies of metal and um, basically it's just, you know, it, it, it conditions the metal. It's kind of like, I guess the best way I can describe it is like when you condition an, an iron skillet. Uh, it's kind of like, I guess it's kind of like that, I don't know. It's probably the, the, the most wrong thing that I'm assuming here, but, but uh, I'll just get this feed ramp. Oh, it's already it's already coming out. Oop, there we go. See that those little black spots there? That was full of black just a minute ago. So hold on, let me do a little concentrated scrubbing here. Probably really won't have to. I should just let the oil sit and let ballast all do do the work. 
but now that I talked about um, how well this stuff is working, now I'm forced to hurry up and show this off. So, okay, there we go. Look at that. Feed ramp is pretty clear of that black goo. But I'm going to go ahead and soak it anyway. Let it sit. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and I, I cleaned the spring. I won't waste a lot of time with the spring. But I just put, I, mean, I soaked a Q-tip and I just put it here and I just, and I basically wound it spun it so that each surface was touched okay and then I wiped it off I pulled this thing out as well and cleaned it up with some ballast stall as well so um, shoot I'm running out of time so I'm gonna go ahead and oil this and like I said the q-tip is good because it hits these crevices right here like these grooves so I'm gonna hit the grooves okay and this is going to be very abbreviated. Now, normally I would spend more time on this and actually get into the grooves and clean it really well. But for the for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you, you know, how you got to hit all the surfaces with ballastol, okay? And because uh, that you want to you want to condition the metal, okay? And you know, don't be afraid to be a little liberal with this stuff. So, I'm going to clean this gun better a little later, but I'll just show the basics, you know, just so you can get started on it. So, I just touch all the surfaces with Ballastol, and when I get enough on here, I'll start, it's getting all over my hands, I'll just use my hands as well. Okay, so, I'm going to get inside of here, there like so. All right. I'm gonna make sure we clean this up pretty good. All right. Okay. I think I've got it now. All right. So while that's soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and let's make sure I get this all over here. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this barrel out. So um, I'll just go ahead and run a bristle brush through because we want to make sure that all those hard deposits are scrubbed out real good. So. Run it all the way through, all the way out. All the way through and all the way out. You don't want to go in halfway and then pull it and kink up these bristles or do some kind of weird damage on the inside. So you always run it all the way through and all the way out. Just like that. Okay. That's done like so. Now go ahead and run patches through. So, geez, like thread and needle here. I can't, can't see it very well. All right. All righty. So I'm going to go ahead and spin it in here, run it through. Woo, look at that dirt. Okay. All right. So let's pretend that that's all cleaned out. Like I said, I'll clean it better later. So I'll wipe off all the pieces, wipe off the slide. Okay, I'm running out of time here, so try to get this done real quick. Slide, barrel, spring. Oops. Spring. I'm going to set. These will go onto these rails right here and here. So, like so, like so, okay. All right, now I will take the pin, put it in like this, line up that notch. Put it together, it's good to go. There you go. SIG Pro 2340, disassembly and cleaning. Thank you.